Welcome to episode 246 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host. And today I'm going to talk about my daily routine and why I'm eating a salad right now. But I'm not going to eat the salad because that would be just gross while reporting. <laughs> gross while recording a podcast. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. So some ways I am a creature of routine, and in some ways I'm as unpredictable as it gets. I've found that there are certain routines in my life that just kind of settle in and I just naturally do them and they naturally help me go on. I'm going to talk about a few of them today and maybe you see some similarities or maybe you can adopt some of the practices if they're helpful to you. But today, actually, I'm sitting here with my lunch and um, I got to record a podcast, so I like to think about what am I, what can I talk about? What can I record that is going to be relevant to what's going on right now? And there's nothing more relevant than lunchtime right now. This is a salad from core. I eat this same salad every day, every single day I get this salad and it's uh, I can't even remember what it's called. It's called a Southwest something. Um, I don't know. It's got like avocado and chicken and spinach. Um, it's easy for me to get the same thing every day because I know what's coming. Let me back up for a minute. Let me tell you about my daily routine. I wake up every morning sometime between 5 and 5.30 a.m. I fresh grind my coffee. I get the coffee going. I get dressed. I put some beard stuff in because I got to make sure this thing stays under control. I'll go downstairs. I'll have some coffee. I eat the same thing for breakfast every day or some small variation of the same thing every day. Typically, it's two eggs, um, maybe a piece of toast, maybe some bacon and some coffee, some water. Um, I, I do every single day. I eat the same thing. I come in at lunch. I eat this salad. Same thing every day. I'm talking Monday through Friday now. Everything gets all messed up during the weekend. And then typically I'll go through the day. I have some coffee early afternoon after lunch. And uh, that about does it. Let's talk about some other routines I have in my life. I dress pretty much the same every day. Now, I'm not Steve Jobs level. Here he is looking at me from right there. Steve Jobs level, um, where it's the same turtleneck and the same jeans and the same sneakers every day. I couldn't live like that. But primarily, I wear a lot of black, a lot of gray, a lot of white. I try to keep it simple. Not a lot of color. Not because I don't like color, just because it's easy when it all matches. I put this hat on. Why? Because the hat is kind of a reminder of something. I mean, maybe if I had some fabulous hair, uh, I would rock that a little bit more. But I kind of got the MMA look going on. Fortunately, that's a popular look these days, but I wear the hat. I wear some black. I wear some level of jeans and kind of my little area of flair is I pick out my sneakers. Which sneakers am I going to wear? That is kind of my, my, my sizzle item. And you know, strangely enough, sometimes I'll pick out, I always pick out my sneakers. I always pick out everything the day before because I don't want to think about it when I get to the morning. And I pick it out based on who I'm meeting or what I'm doing or how I want to feel. Am I in a, like kind of in a creative day coming up? Is it business? Is it going to rain outside? So I know it's complicated and it's sad, but it's my life. Um, so I wear pretty much similar thing just about every day. I eat the same thing for breakfast and lunch and afternoon coffee every day. Wake up about the same time every day. And what these routines have done for me is they clear the brain space so I don't have to think about it because I'm the kind of person that obsesses over details sometimes. And there's a bit of a dichotomy. Sometimes I won't obsess over details and I'll just kind of like let it go. And I'll be like, it'll all come together. We'll, we'll work it. And while the, while the play is running, we'll adjust a little this way, adjust a little that way. But in some areas, I like really obsess over the details. Um, especially about like, it would be if I was like, okay, I got to pick an outfit. I have to figure out what I'm going to cook or what do we want to have for lunch today? That used to just mess me up and, and bog me down. My life at this point is a lot of complex moving parts, a lot of different companies, a lot of different people, a lot of different obligations, a lot of, this is the biggest one, a lot of kind of dreams, visions, plans, ideas. The entrepreneur hamster is always spinning in my head. So there's always an output from that. There's always energy being generated. And when that is the case, I have less time for things that I could automate or just pre-decide on. And so I do it. Um, it's, it's served me really well. Sometimes it gets monotonous, but that's, what, that's why sometimes you have something different. Sometimes I will have a burger for lunch and not a salad. But 
what it has done for me is really given me space to think in other areas. I love to hear about people's routines. I don't know about you. I love it when I read a book about leaders' routines, and I love it sometimes when, you know, some people really have it down, right? You look at like a David Meltzer. He's got his morning routine down. It's everything is decided. This is how many minutes I'm going to do this. This is non-negotiable. It's how I'm going to do this. And then some people don't plan anything when it comes to routine. I remember at one point uh, somebody asked Gary Vaynerchuk about his morning routine. Now, I don't know this, if this has changed or not, but they said, hey, Gary, what's your morning routine like, right? Super successful, super motivated, gets a lot done in a day. And he was just like, I wake up at this point. He goes, I take a poop and I get out of the house as fast as humanly possible. I was like, well, that does kind of seem like it would work for him. All of this, all of this is to say, I don't think you can really be prescriptive about what routine somebody should take. I do think that taking cues from other people's routines can help and can be helpful to generate some ideas, some things to try, but a morning personal routine that everybody does every day, I think you can have some, some benchmarks in place, some stakes in the ground. My friend Glenn Lundy has his morning five, and there are hundreds and probably thousands of people who do that every single day, and it works for them. They go through a routine of five things. But then after that, it kind of opens up a little bit. I read a great book this year. Uh, who, was given, who gave me this book? I think it was um, a guy named Brian Benstock, who is the number one Honda dealer, Honda Acura dealer in the country. Very motivated individual. He's in his early 60s now, and, and he is just a boss. He's super fit. He's super successful in work, and he's got energy for days. He, he flipped me a book called The 5 A.M. Club. And that had kind of a routine in it, a suggested routine, and a really, I thought, sound argument for waking up early. Um, you have people like Jocko Willink, um, who also wakes up. I think he's like a 4.30 guy. Um, one of my business partners, Kyle, he's a 4.30 guy, and there's a run involved. Um, I've tried to wait. You know, I've tried to work out in the mornings and it just doesn't fit what I do. For some reason, it's like it just doesn't. Maybe it's the maybe it's the intensity at which I have to work out because it, you know me. If I do something, I do it 100% all the way. And maybe like when I wake up and go all in like that, my body's like, yo, don't do that. Or maybe I just didn't do it long enough. All of that to come back around and say, um, I wanted to share some of my routines with you because, you know, we've been in this community for a while. You've seen a lot of the highs and the lows. Um, by no means is my routine perfect, but like I said, I think it's nice to hear what other people are actually doing, hear what goes on behind the scenes. Maybe I hope that it gave you an idea of something you can try. Above all else, don't be the kind of person, I'm this kind of person sometimes, and I don't want to be the kind of person that is constantly, constantly on myself about not being more disciplined, not being more routine, not waking up earlier, right? Right? I know there's good things out there for me that take discipline, that, that take, you know, the work to get there. But I think the most important thing is that you keep focusing on getting better. I keep focusing on tweaking little things about my routine that make incremental progress over time because you know what it's like when you start like, I'm going to get in shape and you go all in. And it's probably a pretty quick way to stop going all in and just being on and off. So I'm kind of adopting this, this mindset at this point in my life where I'm trying to make incremental improvements, you know, every day, trying to manage my energy. That's one thing I've been paying attention to a lot uh, this last 18 months. I have this WHOOP bracelet, W-H-O-O-P, and it really, the only thing it really does is track your activity and sleep. There's no screen, connects to my phone, it wakes me up every day. Um, trying to learn about how my body rests and recovers, that's been pretty helpful for me. I think I'm you know, made some progress there. I haven't cracked the code yet. Um, so all that said, wanted to share some of that with you today. Hopefully that gets you thinking a little bit, get your mindset going a little bit, and hopefully inspires you to make uh, incremental improvement in your routine. And look, maybe it's just, you just want to wear black and black hit flat brim, a uh, black flat brim hat every day and, you know, eat two eggs for breakfast and a salad for lunch. And that's cool too. Maybe you should try it. Maybe it'll work for you. If it does, let me know. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today and making this podcast a little part of your routine. I'll see you next week. We came to fight.